Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017 with the Rude Man. We're back in Canada, and I'm still doing same old stuff. And I've got a couple of you guys are getting um, a little antsy at watching me do this. And somebody suggested that I get off my ass and get, and get the road train going um, because I'm taking one trailer at a time on everything. I have had the road the road train map in here forever. I have it in all my maps because I like to mix and match the trailers and stuff, but I haven't used them. Here's the road train thing. You can see it. It's been in here all the whole time. Somebody's telling me that what I need to do is get these stupid trailers here and uh, and pick everything up. So I guess I could give it a try. Let's see here. Um, I have enough money to buy this stuff. I'll tell you what, though. I don't know. It's been so long since I used it. Let's grab. Uh, let's grab it. I don't know if I need their truck to pull this or not. I think I could pull it with my own truck, but uh, it's pretty cheap. Let's uh, let's give this. We're gonna do all hitches. I'm gonna give it the biggest engine I can get. Uh, I don't care what color it is. I don't care about the wheels, the rim colors. I don't care. I don't care any about that. I'm gonna lease it anyway for now we're gonna lease one of these and then we're gonna lease a trailer this one uh, again I don't care except for the trailer hitch we need to do that let's make it red also since the other one's red stock parts standard flatbed I want the uh, auto load one I don't want the standard one I want the auto load one so we're gonna get that one and we're going to buy that or lease that twice. And then I'm going to need a Dalai Lama. A Dalai Lama. Where's the Dalai Lama? There we go. I'm going to need one of those. And let's make sure we've got uh, oh, standard tires are fine. I'm not going very far. I'm just selling stuff, right? So let's go take a look. See what we got. Oh, this is where I left off. Uh, for those of you that watched the last episode, you'll you'll wonder, wow, uh, I pulled up to that field and just said, I, I was getting ready to seed this, and I started to hire a worker, and all of a sudden I said, oh, I'm going to end the episode here. See you later. Bye. And I left. Um, the reason why I did that was I only had three minutes left. I tried to do about a 45 minute video and I had about three minutes left to to do when you guys have heard me say that for me to know what's going on in my little bubble world here because I'm stuck in my little uh, well it's not a little office it's a pretty good sized room I'm stuck in my office uh, with the doors closed and stuff like that big you know for try to get some privacy while I record so I have a webcam sticking out the window so I can see what's going out in on in the real world well as it turns out we're getting ready to have our house painted I've told you about that in in an episode or two ago that it's gonna cost me about seven thousand dollars to get the house painted or more I, I lost track of how much they're gonna charge me to do this and there's some work they need to do what in the world is this guy doing there's some work they need to do on the house because I live on the coast and we get some nasty weather and there's a little bit of weather damage on on certain parts of the house where we're Oceanside and they want to make sure they get that stuff fixed before they actually paint uh, because there's a little bit of wood rot here and there uh, nothing serious but uh, you know because it's a really well-built house and everything but yeah, it's not really not that old um, but there's some things that they've got to do to just to make it right. If they're going to charge me that much to paint the house, they want to paint a decent piece of wood. So, anyway, I, I'm sitting there with three minutes to go in the episode when I saw these trucks pull out front, these work trucks, and I thought, oh, geez, i got to talk to these guys because Carol wasn't here. And so they were coming to the door. So I pretty much said, okay, guy, i got to go. See you later. Have fun. <laughs> And I just scooted out of the episode. Uh, I felt so bad about that, but I thought, well, they're not going to know unless I tell them. And, of course, I just told you. 
Uh, this is not the header that I was talking about in the last episode. I do have... I hope I put it in here. Let me see if I did. I hope I did. Alrighty then. Let's see. We're going to go to headers and see if I put that corn header in here. I don't recall. What if I didn't? I guess I'm not going to do corn today. Not with that big header anyway. It isn't this Klaus stuff. It's a separate corn header. There it is, I think. This one here. It's 30 meters, which I guess they're considering 90 feet. But that's the one I'm talking about. I haven't used it yet, so I'm going to grab it. Let me grab it. And uh, I'm going to buy one of those. I guess there's no... There's no extra upgrades or anything you can do. It's just that's all the way it is. And it says it's only 12 meters. So evidently the mod author didn't do anything to adjust any of that. But I do have that field of corn we're going to work on. Anyway, I apologize for skipping out so fast last episode, but I needed to get up and get to the door. And it was only three minutes, so, you know, it's a 42-minute video instead of 45-minute video. But you know, I don't stick that close to it anyway. Sometimes I set an alarm because uh, I'm trying to be consistent. And usually the alarm goes off, or a lot of times uh, I, I have the alarm setting in front of me. And if I, if I do consciously take the time to look at it, I can... I can figure out when it's getting close to 45 minutes and I'll just stop the thing before it goes beep 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 you know on me uh, and then I have to cut that beep 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 out so it's never really exactly 45 minutes anyway because if I see that it, there's a couple minutes left sometimes I'll turn the alarm off and I'll just go for what I assume is two or three minutes and then say goodbye um other times, the alarm goes off, and I'm in the middle of doing something, and I'll continue on for a minute or two. So, it's it's not like I'm that consistent with the time. I'm just going to drop this regular header. Holy smokes! We got trouble at Houston here. Stop it. Let me drop this. Like that. We're going to go get this other one. But look what happened. I hope I can hook onto it. That doesn't look like... Oh, it must, it must fold out. I hope I can hook onto it. It's on top of the Dalai Lama. Where do you hook onto it? Right here? Let's see if I can line this up. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. Oh, I can't move. Oh no, the Dalai Lama. Uh, it's on top of the Dalai Lama and I can't move. Let me see if I can do some four wheel drive here and get off of that thing. There we go. Okay, look at that monster. I wonder if it looks uh, stretched like that other one does. It doesn't really. It doesn't really look stretched like that other one does. Well, there's no wheels on it for one thing. But it looks like it's already on the ground and I haven't even dropped it yet. Oh, wow. That's not good. I think it's just combine. I don't think it works well with this combine. Let me, let me drop this. Let me drop this, and I'm going to get the John Deere, because if you remember, I had this problem with the Klaus before, which is interesting because that the other uh, huge uh, combine header uh, was, was part of that Klaus p uh, pack, and it didn't really work well with that particular... Okay, that... Uh, never mind, I remember. The, the combine that I'm using isn't the one that comes with the pack that has the huge combine header. The reason being is I, I like this Klaus uh, 
or cloths uh, uh, combine better than than the one that came with the pack, and it doesn't quite work the same. So that's the story on that, and I'm sticking to it. At least this one has wheels. I can't imagine what that's like to pull. I'm going to see if this works a little bit better. And then we'll get that truck going. And I hope that truck works. I don't want to get I don't want to get a huge train going of more than two trailers though because uh well I guess I could if there is a cell point that I can drive through. But if I have to unhook trailers, that ain't going to work. So I'm assuming those people that are that are uh, telling me to, that I should do this have, have been doing it. So whatever they're doing must be working. Now I have a drive-through cell point, but I don't have it set up. It's a mod. You've seen it. Um, I don't have it set up to do pallets. I've got it set up to do everything else. Okay, now see, that picked it right up. Drops it right down. So this is better. Okay, let's go see how it works, though. Well, let's see. Now this one doesn't have wheels. But it does fold up smaller, so... Maybe I can... Maybe I can get through here without teleporting oh yeah plenty of room plenty of room it's only gonna take about two passes to get this thing done well not with me driving three passes all right let's check it out here we go nothing's working because I didn't turn it on. I'm not in the combine. I was in the header. There we go. Okay, it's winding up, and there it goes. It doesn't look like there's any... Well, there's not much animation. It shows it cutting the product, but it doesn't show it running down the auger. That's a small thing. I don't got to worry about it. All right, let's see how we do here. All right, hey, 24 miles an hour, scoots right along. Let Ben fill up. I'm at 20% uh, already. Now I'm going to take a little headland off here. And then make another pass on this side let's see who's driving that other rig do we know no we don't it doesn't show up on the map sometimes it does sometimes it'll show who the driver is on the map but I don't see it Oh, so it's going to take four passes at least, even though it's uh, supposed to be 90 feet. Maybe five, because I'm not quite to the end, but that's okay. It's still pretty quick. And then I need to get a truck out here. Yeah, it's going to take five. But it's a lot wider than 12 meters.
And I don't know. I'm hoping I can get it all. We're at 87% on the bin. Am I going to make it? 90%? I'm going to make it. 91%, 92%. All right, here we go. Let's put this bad boy back together. And rather than go get a trailer and bring it out here, I'll take the combine to the trailer. And I'll show you how I've speeded up the uh, unloading time on this combine. I did not increase the driving speed of this combine. I just, it just didn't seem right to, you know, beef this thing up into a monster combine and put balloon tires on it, that kind of thing. It wouldn't go that fast, so I just left it alone. All right, let me go find a truck. Pick up our corn. I should have. I should have done more corn. I don't think I have much. All right now, watch, and you'll see that I've sped this. We. I don't expect you to remember how fast or how slow it was before, but it, I. I do. You might think about it. It was unloading, and I was looking at the product in the bin, and I did ask the question. I said, "Is it even unloading?" Because it didn't look like anything was lowering. It didn't look like it was getting any emptier. And then after a few minutes, you could see that it was. But it was just really that slow. So it's. I didn't speed it up a tremendous amount. I about doubled is what I've done. So if you look at it now. You can actually see that it's unloading. So, at first I thought, well, it's too fast. And I thought, no, it's okay. I, I, I pretty much doubled it, is what I did. A little more than double. So, I might have made it a little bit too fast. But, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Alright, let's go grab our road train and see if that's going to work for us. Okay, and then I gotta remember. Wait, you wait. I'm gonna be looking for my combine sitting over there. We're gonna get in the red mobile here. Okay, first of all, let's see. Let me hook up to this trailer. Right, then we can get the Dalai Lama, hook it up to the back trailer. Boy, this brings back memories. The uh, long haul truck I used to drive was double trailers. So I used to have to do this every day. But my dolly was not that big. The, the, the dolly that I used on my trucks was not this big. And you could actually, if you didn't have to go up any hills or anything, you could actually grab the tongue and move it around by hand if it was... I wouldn't do it if it was a long ways away from the trailer. But if they're pretty close, I'd just grab it with my hands and, and uh, manhandle it over. All right, so now... Let's uh, switch to the truck. Or the dolly, I'm sorry. Drop it there. Get our second trailer. If this works and 
You know, I, I, I did put both trailers with the extra hitch. So if this works and I do have the room, I can add a third trailer without any trouble. But we'll see. We'll see how this works. You guys are more impatient than I am. I can't. <laughs> I thought I was impatient. I got that. I got that uh, comment. Why aren't you using the road chain? <laughs> It'd be easier. And every time I see a comment like that, I know I'm. I know I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong. I know that you guys are just trying to be helpful, and and you're you're not being nasty with me. I'm not saying that, but. When I read a comment like that, it's almost automatic that I hear, you dumb shit, on the end of it. Why aren't you using the road trains, you dumb shit? I just... <laughs> and the reason I think that is because I think, well, why didn't I think of that in the first place? Because I've used these road, tra road trains many, many times, you know? And so I, I'm, I thought to myself when I read that comment, I said, you are a dumb shit. Why didn't you think of that? But anyway. Right, let's go see. I'm going to go pick up some fruit and vegetables. See if this works a little bit better. Well, it would work great as if the cell point was uh, a place where you could just drive straight through. And there might be one like that. I don't know. Let's see where the fruit, the fruits and jet and the vegetables sell. I can't talk. It's not my fault. I just took a big gulp of Mountain Dew and shocked my tongue. Right here we go. Let's got to get right on the right trailer here and see what the controls are for this. I don't recall. It's not. It's set on square bales. We don't want that. Let's set it on on pallets. There we go. And the work position work position is the X key. It's uh, the top right button on my wheel. And there we go. Is it getting will it pull it from that far away? No, it won't. Okay. We'll have to get a little closer. Oh hey! Got one of them. Scared me. It scared me. This is fruit over here. Vegetables over on the right there. Look at that. Okay, now let's switch trailers. And do that again. Uh, oh, oh, oh. It's uh, the second trailer's set on bales again so let me run that up to pallets and hit the go button again now this will be interesting because it looks like this one is loading correctly where that other trailer mod that I had didn't didn't fully load there was always an empty spot and then you could see the, the stuff the pallets jumping okay now see this filled completely up I'm wondering if it's not that other trailer mod that is dumping my products in uh, sorry let me hit that one that's dumping my products into the fields okay now let's see does this have does this have uh, trailer does it have unload detach it doesn't look like there are any straps involved here so let's keep your fingers crossed that my stuff doesn't go flying. And let's see here. We're selling fruits. What do we have for choices? And is there any choice? The buying pallets are kind of drive through. They, those are pretty easy to drive through. The Walmart ones are at the end of a parking lot and you'd have to swerve in at an angle so I might just have to sell these 
Right, so I'm selling it either the pallet guys or let's try the second pallet one. I think it's wide open. I don't think there's any fences. There are some fences around the one at the harbor in front of me there, but I don't think there are on the other one. I think I can drive right straight through. If that's the case, then I could actually grab a third trailer. Is there actually a road that goes by there? Let's take this one. Oh, that'd be a bummer if I took a corner and all this stuff went flying off. Now see, the problem if I get a third trailer is I've got my camera zoomed all the way out. If I put a third trailer in, I won't be able to see it. Which I don't think I have to. But anyway, at least this one hauls twice what the other one did. Or more. These trailers, I think, are bigger. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, this is not quite straight through, but it's close enough for government work. So I think I could probably run uh, three trailers if I want to. I could try it. Church bells. They'll probably get ding. Somebody will probably copyright that sound. Oh, that's my song you're playing there. You remember that? There was the church bells that rang in a video of mine, and I got a copyright infringement on it because somebody said they owned that sound. Are you kidding me? That was just ridiculous. So they, what they do is, uh, if you have a song that's copyrighted, a lot of times they'll say you can't have it take it off or they say you can leave it in the video but the guy that owns the song is going to get all the advertising so guess what I do I either completely delete the video or I go in and edit the sound out I'm not going to go through all that work to have two seconds of a song take my advertising away Right, unload center, which is not what we're going to do. We're going to unload to this side. And unload left. And why does it? Why? Because we love you. So let's go boom and see if that starts selling. It looks like it does. Then I'm going to move up here and I'm going to change to the right side of the trailer. Let's jump over to the back trailer. And we're going to we're going to uh, unload to the right, and boom, and there we go. We'll come back and see how that did. That worked pretty good. I could actually do three traders, but I don't know if I'm gonna. I could. That worked pretty good. That worked pretty good because I could drop one on the left, one on the right, shoot out. If I had three trailers, I'd have to wait till something got unloaded. Well, I wouldn't have to, but you get the drift. How fast does this truck go? 70, 72, 74. Man, this thing flies. Not literally, but you know what I mean. All right, let me sw swap to the front trailer. And let's whoop around. Get some more of that. Give me more, I want more. That was too sharp a turn, wasn't it? Look, we're color coordinated. Oh, let me jump uh, trailers here and see if I can do that again. Flip another Yui here. Wonder why they call? Oh, I know why they call it a Yui because you flip in a U shape. 
Sorry, my mind's just working weird. Right. There we go. Let's uh, change back again to the front trailer. And we'll run back up to the cell point. This is actually a lot quicker, I have to admit. I'm just uh, embarrassed I didn't think about it. I don't think of stuff like that. I just, uh, it's, you know, I think it'd be different if I was playing the game, you know, on a regular basis for a period of time, but I'm not. I come in and I do a 45 minute video, I stop recording, and I, and then I, I render, I mean, I edit it, then I render it, then I have to shoot it up to uh, put it online. And it, it's days sometimes before I get back to record another video because I'm recording other games or I'm actually playing games or I'm doing family stuff. Man, this stuff's not selling very fast. What's going on? Is it still selling actually at all? It is. It's just really slow. All right, let's go to the harbor. I got part of it's not even on. Let's go. Let's run to the harbor and see if I can get through that one. It's really selling slow. At this point, I'm not really concerned about what the price is. I've got almost ten million dollars in a bank. I've got fruit setting out and meat setting out that's rotting. I don't have the time to pick everything up. If I'm picky about where I'm selling it, it's going to take me forever because I'd have to separate each fruit. Okay, cherries are sold here. You know, something else is sold there. It's a pain in the bootox. That's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. All right, let me see if I can go through the back way here doesn't matter I either go through the back way or go through the front and I'm still starting at the front going to the back or starting at the back going to the front six one half dozen the other as they say whoever they are let's see if I can wiggle through here though um, do I have to go through I wonder if I can not that way I need to miss that thing there. Oh, the railroad tracks are rough. I forgot. This map has some railroad tracks that are 10 feet off the ground. Okay. Now, let's see how this is going to work. Let me try to get more towards the center of this. Like right there. And we're on the front trailer. We're going to do the right side, boom, and then let's make sure we get up closer here. I'll try to stay as far to the right as I can, make sure that I'm clear on, and then we're going to go with the uh, what are we doing? Am I on the other trailer? I'm not. Okay, here we go. We're going to go on that side. Drop it. Oh, my God. It picked it right back up. Oh, I had the front trailer on pick me up. Darn it. Let me see if I can back this thing up. No, stop. Stupid trailer. Well, that's going to take... That's going to waste some of my time. Okay, I'm on the front trailer now. Let's do that and see if I can unload it. And now, how am I going to get out of there? Okay, here's what I'm at. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You know what? I'm going to try TARDIS on this. I don't know if TARDIS is... I don't know if TARDIS will work on a road train. I don't know why it wouldn't. Let's see. Yeah, it shows all three pieces. Oh, well, including the truck. So, let me pop out of that and... We're going to go to field 22. Yeah, it worked. It worked. No worries. As they would say. 
in Australia. No worries, mate. Now again, I'm gonna leave the product that's on the pads for now. I'm just picking up the loose stuff that's in the parking lots here. So here we are back on trailer number one. Picking up, picking up. Let's get this little bit over here. I think it'll fit on the end. did it did and we're gonna jump over to oh wait a minute before I do that let me turn the auto pickup off I don't want to do that same mistake again and we're on the rear trailer this time and we're gonna pull in here Let's see if it's on the auto the auto suck load there we go we got pumpkins on the end there Oh, who did that? Who's driving this rig? Okay, got it. Let's turn it off. <sighs> now, I'm going to probably... Let's go to the first one again and see if it got unloaded. Wait a minute. The second one. We just came from the first one. I'm confused. I got turned around. It's not my fault. Of course it is. I need some seven up. Or sorry, Mountain Dew. Ah, refreshing. Okay. Let's head over this way. Hopefully this stuff is sold. If not, then I'll jump over to the cedar and get that moving again. I noticed the cedar's just setting out in the field again. I'm just... Oh, shoot. Ah, I missed my turn. I was going to say, I was just assuming that the trailers are pulling okay. It appears so. Look out, villagers. We're coming through with a load of fruit. Sorry, vegetables little bitty little bitty bit of fruit mostly veggies yeah this stuff sells slow oh I see I see I see let me kind of see if I can push these in without getting into too much trouble here all right is that stuff selling yeah it is right let's head out to our cedar again here. Oh, did I run out of stuff? I did. Uh, peanuts. I ran out of uh, peanuts. Peanut seeds. So, I can probably go ahead and actually buy that equipment that I that I have. I don't know if you can once you've leased it. Do you have to unlease it and buy it again? I never thought about that. Maybe that was a mistake. Because now, if I have to turn that in and rebuy it, uh, I'm going to have to rehook all those trailers back up. Of course, it really didn't take me that much time to do it. Oh, and I was going to grab a train and go through and pick up all the junk out of these uh, places where I have stuff stored on the train route. Man, I tell you. There's so much work to do. I can't even remember half of it. I should make a list and say, in this episode, I'm going to do this and this and this. Wouldn't work. I wouldn't stick to the list. All right. Now, I think somebody said, I think it was Scorpion, said I can kind of back into this. Or not. Let me see if I'm close enough. Hey, worked. All right, so that was the uh, what was that? That was the uh, that was the seeds. Now, the, it doesn't use fertilizer like it did the seeds. So, an actualita, I can go ahead and and just continue from here because 
it'll run out of seeds before it runs out of fertilizer. So let's just back this thing up to where I can get a good start. And let's see here, who's working? Ethan Huber is on that one. Is that the only tractor I got moving? I think so. Let's go put this corn away. I'm debating on the combines. I'm debating on uh, trading the case in for some more John Deere's or or uh, the Klaus. I don't know. I think about it. I'm about done with this map anyway. It won't be too long. There's some new maps coming out I want to play before 2019 comes out. And it's already ha almost halfway through July. And I'm going to be on vacation for the next two, three weeks. So I don't know how much longer I'll be playing Canada uh, before I jump into a new map. We'll see. You never know with me. Right. Let's see. This is empty. Where's the other milk truck? I was going to take the... Uh, where is it? Oh, you know what? I think I borrowed the... Tr there it is. Okay, so this thing's full of milk. Let me run this to the dairy and see. Ethan's done already. I don't think he is. Look, we're over 10 million. We popped 10 million on profit there. Well, may not be profit. Oh my God. Look at the poos overflowing. I gotta do something about that. I'm pooed out, I tell you what. I'm hoping that I produced enough product that I can get rid of this milk, but don't hold your breath. Just that old Mercedes Benz here. Hey, it's got a built in GPS. That probably isn't correct. Whoa! Watch the road. I was watching the dashboard. Where's all the smoke coming from? What? I didn't notice that. Now it went away. Now it's back again. Where's all that smoke coming from? My truck's on fire. Maybe this thing runs on steam. Okay, so, oh my God, it didn't even, oh, it barely, see, that was 100,000. It's barely down from that. And look at all the, it's already done producing. Okay, I'm selling the milk, damn it. Because my cows are making more milk than I can do, so I'm just going to sell the milk. There's there's enough stuff on there, because that was 100,000 when these pads were empty. So it barely did 2,000 of 100,000 to make all that product. I can leave that milk in there forever and just start hauling product away. I'll just sell the rest of my milk. I should take that sign down that sells at midnight. Know what I mean? And there we go. Made a little bit of money on some milk. $16,000. Almost $17,000. Well, um, I apologize because I don't recall who told me about the road train. Uh, I'd like to give you a shout out, but I don't remember who it was. Let me see if I can check real quick before I go, because I need to, I'm running, I'm running out of time here. Let me see, hang on, I'm on my other PC. 
let's uh, let's look at this and bear with me. Come on, computer's damn slow. I need to build myself a new rendering computer. If you remember, uh, I use a, a computer that I fondly call Frankenstein. The Frank Franken PC is what I call it. And it's really outdated. I, I was using it for only rendering. And it does fine if I just set it to at night before I go to bed. When I get up in the morning, the movie's rendered. But it does take all friggin' night. And so that's not what I wanted. Um, it's an i3 uh, a CPU, so it's uh, it's kind of outdated. It's about 10 years old. It's a little slow. So I'm thinking about it. I looked at it yesterday. I can get parts for one that's pretty decent if I'm only using it for rendering. I don't have to put a lot of money in it. Okay. Oh, it was Nightwolf. Okay, Nightwolf, one of my subscribers, is the one that told me that I should use the road trains. Thank you, Nightwolf. Uh, it, I, I feel like you guys are Jiminy Cricket. You're sitting on my shoulder, whispering in my ear. Uh, and I appreciate it. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. And I uh, hope you had fun. If you did, give it a like. Share it with a friend. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you back on the farm in the next episode. In the meantime, happy farming.